normal tubular acidosis in a normal kidney acid is secreted which is the H positive ions and the bases the bicarbonate ions is reabsorbed from the PCT and the uh, connecting tubules renal tubular acidosis is of four types type 1 in type 1 there is a defect in the alpha defective alpha intercalated cells of the connecting tubules it is also known as distal renal tubular acidosis in this they uh, the connecting tubules the alpha intercalated cells of the connecting tubules they fail to secrete the H positive ion and reclaim and fail to reclaim the potassium and which lead to metabolic acidosis and hypokalemia the uh, fractional levels of bicarbonate is less than 15 percent and it, uh, in type 1 there is systemic metabolic acidosis and but the anion gap is normal because the anion gap is, is equal to sodium minus the bicarbonate plus chloride but in this the bicarbonate goes down but the chloride levels goes up therefore the anion gaps remain normal uh, a very important point to remember here is that type 1 a renal tubular acidosis in this there is metabolic acidosis with hypokalemia normally with metabolic acidosis there is always hyperkalemia but in type 1 renal tubular acidosis where the anion gap is normal wherever anion gap is normal with metabolic acidosis it will always be hypokalemia so there is metabolic acidosis hypokalemia hyperchloremia and uh, for hypokalemia we can give bicarbonate for treatment due to metabolic acidosis the blood ph it uh, goes uh, down which lead to resorption bone resorption which lead to hypercalcemia and uh, a lot of calcium is presented to the kidney lead to hypercalciuria since the uh, hydrogen ion is not secreted by the connecting tubules into the urine so the urine will be more alkaline in nature and this alkaline nature of the urine it is susceptible to formation of calcium stone also there is uh, there is a increased absorption of citrate because citrate is a source of uh, three bicarbonate ions and therefore it, uh, the body compensate with the decrease in bicarbonate with increase in citrate level therefore the citrate level in the urine it decreases the calcium it combines with the citrate to form calcium citrate stone which is soluble in nature but the citrate level in the urine in type 1 uh, renal tubular acidosis uh, there, there is increased reabsorption of citrate the citrate level in the urine will go down therefore the calcium will bind to the phosphate and oxalate which lead to formation of calcium oxalate so, uh, stones and calcium phosphate stone which are insoluble therefore the stones are found in renal tubular type 1 acidosis the limiting pH of urine is 4.5 but in type 1 renal tubular acidosis the minimum urinary pH after acidification it remains uh, more than 5.5 and to make it as uh, the urine acidic we have to give a substance like uh, uh, NH3Cl, NH4Cl and the site of acidification will be distal tubules now moving to renal tubular acidosis type 2 in this case there is the PCT is effective affected the proximal convoluted tubules here the uh, PCT is not able to absorb the bicarbonate therefore the fractional unit of bicarbonate in the urine will be more than 15 percent this leads to uh, metabolic acidosis and hypokalemia since there is normal anion gap so therefore metabolic uh, acidosis metabolic there 
increase metabolic acidosis with normal anion gap so there will be hypokalemia the type 2 renal tubular acidosis it is a part of uh, Fanconi syndrome where there is overall uh, defect generalized defect in the PCT therefore leading to therefore there is uh, all the absorption occurring at the PCT level are disturbed leading to glycosuria amino acid urea bicarbonurea hypercalciuria phosphateuria citriuria and also the bicarbonate which is not absorbed by the PCT it is presented to the collecting tubule where the bicarbonate is absorbed so the acidemia in this in type 2 it is not as severe as that in type 1 renal tubular acidosis since the citrate is also not absorbed in the PCT so the urine, urine level of citrate will be high this is the difference between type 1 and type 2 that in type 1 there will be increase absorption of citrate and low level of citrate in the urine whereas in type 2 due to defect in the PCT cells there is no absorption of citrate and the urinary citrate level will goes up so the calcium will bind to the citrate calcium is has more affinity towards citrate than other uh, substances so it will bind to citrate and form calcium citrate but the calcium citrate uh, substance it is soluble in nature so no renal stone is formed in no renal stone is formed in type 2 the minimum urinary pH after acidification it is less than 5.5 because the, uh, the uh, collecting tubule it is able to secrete the H positive ion into the urine therefore the pH is less than 5.5 the difference between uh, type 1 and type 2 renal tubular acidosis in type 1 the fractional level of bicarbonate it is less than 15 percent and the urinary level of citrate it is less and the renal stones are present and the minimum urinary pH is more than 5.5 and Fanconi syndrome is absent in type 2 the fractional levels of bicarbonate is more than 15 percent the urinary citrate level is increased the renal stones are absent the minimum urinary pH it is less than 5.5 it is a part of the type 2 it is a part of Fanconi syndrome and there is generalized effect in the absorption at PCT leading to glycosuria amino acid urea bicarbonate hypercalcinuria, phosphateuria, citrate, urea. Now the causes of renal tubular acidosis. Type 1, Chogren syndrome, medullary sponge kidney disease, cirrhosis of liver, renal stone, drugs like aminoglycosides, amphotericin B, lithium, cyclophosphamide, renal transplant. In type 2, the causes are autoimmune disease, Wilson disease, glycogen storage disease, fructose intolerance, inherited cause of causes like Fanconi syndrome, multiple myeloma, renal transplant, drugs like acetazolamide. Now, the type 3 renal tubular acidosis, it is a transient type. In this type 1 and type 2 types of renal tubular acid, acidosis both are present. It is seen in children in cases where there is increased salt uh, exposure or exposure to toxin and it is a temporary type and it is not seen nowadays. Now type uh, 4 renal tubular acidosis it is the most common type and uh, in this, the, there is no tubular disorder at all and the anion gap is normal and there is metabolic acidosis. The cause is hypofunctioning of aldosterone. Decrease in aldosterone leads to decrease uh, levels of sodium, potassium, hydrogen pump present on the collective tubule. Therefore, the sodium absorption decreases and the negative charge 
decreases and also the potassium secretion decreases and the H positive iron secretion decreases. Therefore, hyperkalemia occurs and acidosis occurs. Plus, uh, there is uh, other causes as well like uh, the drugs, anti aldosterone drugs like spironolactone, epilurinone, amylorides, triametrine, ACE inhibitor, ARBs, and the most important things are. Uh, methane, diabetic nephropathy, contrast induced nephropathy, HIV associated nephropathy, congenital adrenal hypoplasia.